All right, colors again, water mix boils, Grumbacher, Grumbacher Max, so Burnt Umber, Burnt Sienna, Thalo Green, Mars Black, Lizard Crimson, Thalo Blue, Titanium White, Cad Yellow Light, Yellow Ochre, Cad Yellow Deep, Grumbacher Red, or Naphthol Red, it's also the same, same pigment. German Steel Rules is here. Have a good week. Uh, it was okay. It's kind of stressful. Um, well, it ended pretty good. There was uh, lots of turmoil at work. There was some bank that, or a bank that shut down, or shutting down. And that's who we used for our payroll, so it was kind of a mess. <laughs> Over the weekend, still kind of a mess, but hopefully it gets sorted out. All right, I'm just looking for my, that's my light color two inch brush. This is my dark one. It has the dark color already in it. <laughs> All right, so, so we're gonna do mountain, Mount Rose kinda. I don't really know. It'd probably just be a nice little mountain scene. Nothing, nothing too fancy here. I gotta remember I don't have any liquid white on there, so I gotta lighten it up myself. I don't wanna crazy dark blue sky. Just doing the phthalo blue. Looks like I missed some oil up there in the top, up here in the middle. That's okay. You can always tell when I have to push in really hard. That's how I know I don't have well enough oil up there in the canvas or magic white, whichever one. How much sky is going to be in this one? Probably not too much. I probably should have sketched in a mountain too before I get too far, but that's fine. Also, forgot to spray the back of the canvas, which is so it's going to be a little loose. Okay, there's the blue blue skies. Got to figure out how big we want to make this mountain though. I'm not really sure. Maybe we should sketch it in first. Oh, where's my dark color? There we go. This is going to be really dark though, so I don't want too much of it. That's the Mars black. It's aggressive. It's an aggressive black color. It's very, very strong pigment. All right. How big do we want the mountain? It's gonna be pretty tall, so maybe we'll start up at a little peak here. And there's like a little round top or something. It comes down over here. See how much of that sky we were gonna cover up? <laughs> Should have drawn this in first, but oh well. Something there. There's a little one there. This is like a, I don't know top of the mountain. This one will just bring down like that. Okay. And down here we're just going to have like a tree line. Maybe a little lake. And then another tree. I wanted to add in, there's a, an interesting tree that I saw when I was looking up this area. It's called Bristol Cone Pine. Look very interesting. I've never seen them before. So I'm going to add one in over here. It'll look a little, a little bit odd, but I just want to add one in because they look cool and I like them. All right. So there's our sketch. We got some choices here. We can use the fan brush, palette knife, two inch brush. Just depends. I'm, I've got the palette knife, so I'm kind of hankering to use that. So let's just use that. All right. And these mountains, I think, were mostly browns. So I'm going to use a lot of burnt umber here. So some of that. And maybe a little bit of purple. So some crimson and blue. Okay. Just a little bit though. I don't want it to be like Blue Ridge Mountains where I usually use purple. So I just want a little bit. That's probably going to be too dark for that back area, so I'm going to 
lighten it up. Just because, again, there's no magic white on there, so it's, you gotta mix them yourself. Lighten them up. There we go. It's a little bit lighter. Okay, let's just start throwing it in. I can do it this way. Let's try and aim for the general region that I drew in those lines. Little roll right there. I am going to pull this down with the two inch brush here. It's so not too worried about, too worried about that. I do have the heater running, so I apologize if that's kind of loud. There we go. Whoops. Pull that one straight down. I get rid of all the spots at the top. brush and we'll just pull it kind of in this direction a direction this will be tricky up here but are very brown mountains, so the more brown I have up here, brownish gray, the closer it'll be to what I was trying to do. Okay. There's some mountains. some gray into that might be an okay highlight but I don't want to use I don't really want to use a snow color I just want a lighter umber maybe some sienna something like that that probably wasn't enough all right so the first part is this peak that's not going to be a strong peak, so to speak. It's going to be a slight one up here. He comes down. There's some up here, down this edge. He stops. And do some more up here on this side. I want to leave that spot in there. I don't really want to do anything with it. All right, we can make another one over here, maybe. And this is just dirt over here, so we're just adding colors in there. Paul's here. Hey, Paul, how's it going? This is um, 
Just some mountains in Nevada, not a not a particular one. So I looked at a lot of them. I couldn't really pick which one I wanted to paint, so I'm just doing one of many. One of many. None in particular. Maybe this one comes over there. I don't know. There'll be a lot of trees down here at the bottom, so I'll add those in here in a bit. crazy. We gotta add in some little tiny trees back here. We could put in some snow, I don't know. I wanna put in some snow. It's not really cold where I am. Although it was cold enough parts of the state today where we got some, got some snow. Which is uncommon for March. But. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do today. All right. We got all this brown color though, or umber color. I don't know if it's brown or not. I'm just going to move it to a new pile. Maybe up here. Here we go. So we got to think what we want to do next. We got the mountain tops. I could add some snow in between, maybe. Some light snow. There's some blue in there. I mean, I guess it's okay if it's blue if it's going to be in the shade. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll throw in some snow in the shade. Where would the shade be? we got to figure that out. So we got a mountain peak here. Maybe there's some down in here. Just a little bit. And some back here in this little area here. Hopefully I'm not getting too much glare from the, the uh, palette knife there. I see it shining up on the on the ceiling. That's white, straight white. We don't want straight white. We want this color. And then around this, I'm just going to throw in some trees. Like little pine trees up here. I'm going to put some back in here. And a little bit more blue. That's probably too much. Watching the monsters on Cozy TV. Oh, that's cool. Cozy TV. Is that a stream? A uh, different streaming channel? Or is that an actual TV channel? All right. Here's my brush for little trees. That's too big. I need a smaller brush here. Do I have a small fan brush anywhere? Ah, oh, here's one. Sticky for some reason. That's weird. We got splashed. Sometimes I get when I'm flinging the badge quite around. I get on the brushes over here. Cool. Oh, cool. All right. 
All right. Trees. Trees are green. So I use some phthalo green. It's probably too dark though. Oh, that's blue, isn't it? Oh well, maybe it'll come out okay. <laughs> they look green, blue, and some white here. We're just seeing little trees up here. These are probably gonna be too dark though. But maybe not. Hopefully not too dark. This was a brand new brush. <laughs> this is going to be a struggle. A little bit of a struggle, not too bad. I need to darken up the bottoms a little bit once we get get in here. Could you approximate the total number of oil paintings you have painted on your artistic adventure? Um, I'd probably have to check my Instagram. That's about as close a number as I can get. Um, I would say probably at least 500. Karen McCarthy's here. Hey Karen, how's it going? We're just doing Nevada today. I need to darken that up because it's bugging me. So I'll just use some green down here. It's just thalo green. And whatever was in there. Could use a bigger brush too. Maybe we'll do that. Let's do that. We've done the little back ones. They worked okay. Let's get the old number six fan brush out. All right, I'll put that one away for now. We won't be needing them again. All right, where is he? There. Well, this is an old number six, so it comes out to be like a number three because half of the half of the top is chiseled off because I smack it too hard.
Jack Lowe's over on Twitch. What's up? <laughs> hey, Jack. Tree line's looking great. Thanks, Paul. Much appreciated. I might add in a little, I add in a little rock here or something. There's not a rock in this place, but in the actual mountain that I was looking at, but I just want to put one in. Just because, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes you just want to put stuff in. I said I was going to put a lake in here too, so maybe we'll do that here in a bit. We'll just put in some more, a couple more tree lines or something. I don't know. Well, I do want to highlight that just a little bit. Is this green? I don't know. I don't want to risk it. What do we want to highlight this with? A little burnt sienna. Probably blue in there. I don't know what that comes out to be. in this painting. It's coming from all over. Hard to tell. Hard to tell. I have a question. How do uh, I have a bunch of paintings? Oh, how do I store my paintings? I have a bunch laying around on the floor. <laughs> Closet. Yeah, closet's good. Make sure they're um, vertical. That's my only advice if you're putting them up somewhere. So if you put them flat, then over time, the they just like, they get mushed together. Then when you pull them, pull them apart, sometimes the paint actually sticks them together and it rips it apart. So. But if they're vertical, they don't, they're less likely that I've found to stick together. So, and if you can, I know there's a guy on Instagram, he, um, Bob Daniels, he made like a little rack and they have separate slots for stuff. So if you have space for that, that would work too, but it just depends. Paint your dream world's here. What's up? Paint your dream world. Hope you're doing well. What was I doing? I already forgot. I'm just going to put some snow right in here. A little bit on the bottom. Okay. Let's go back to the trees. Put in some more. Although, before I do that, let's mash it. Just mash the bottom of the top tree line so they kind of blend a little easier. Once we start going over. Okay. I'm worried I'm gonna knock this canvas over. I'm hitting it a little too hard and it's very it's very loose today. I don't know if you can tell. Uncle 60's here. Ankle 60. <laughs> yeah, unstuck some today. They do get stuck pretty easy. I don't know how to fix that problem. It's just over time, I don't know, they just stick together. Especially the water mix ones. Those things are like glue. Regular ones, so I don't have too much problem with, but yeah, sometimes they just, they just stick together. This is just that mountain color and some green. I did put some black in, but I didn't really mean to, so there's going to be some black in here, too. Just a darker, darker tree color. Green. 
this color, whatever color that was, and it's black. A little bit. A little bit. same brush the whole thing I need to I need to learn to use different brushes in my light and dark brushes that I have I kind of want to put in a tr uh, bushes, brush, bush, brush. Nate, do you do a 30 by 40 canvas one day? You need to do one. To do, not you do. <laughs> yeah. I did. I do have one video with a giant canvas. I painted it for my aunt. She wanted it. It's somewhere on YouTube. It, it was. I almost threw my arm out with that one because it's just so there's so much paint and just oh yeah you gotta do like full full motions all the way across to do things it was fun though oh, what was I trying to oh we gotta do the grass and stuff let's see let's see so the grass is green that's stable green though look how far that lizard and crimson has moved like <laughs> cad yellow cad yellow deep Alright, we're just going to throw in this green, cad yellow, and halo green down here. I just need like a, a base color first. Could use the 2 inch brush for this. Probably be easier. Like I said, I was going to put a tree over here, so we got to put a tree in. I didn't forget. I'm going to do it eventually. use this yellow with whatever the dark colors in the brush. Let's just start throwing in the shape of some land here. Before I moved to Kentucky, just paint with acrylics, do spray paint. You just buffered. Oh no. I learned to do 60% spinach and oil. Oh yeah, Billy's got some cool spray paint art. I've never, I don't think I've used it. I don't spray paint stuff too often. Okay, so 
There's some like land. Grassy looking stuff. I can't see over here because of the glare, so I don't know what that looks like over there, but hopefully it doesn't look too terrible. We'll fix it up here in a minute. I gotta do the water. Should have done the water first, but oh well. Oh well. I just use this blue color that we have. Very sticky. Very sticky. Very, very sticky paint there. some room for that here in a second. Before we do that, let's throw in a, I don't know, need a little bit of land there. Only some birds, Sienna. A little bit of white. Probably too much white. That's for later. Okay, first, Let's just throw in some of this. Some muddy looking stuff here on the edge. And over here, that's where trees will go. Up here. Wipe this off. Use the highlight color that we put down, which is just that color plus white. It looks a little red. A little red. There we go. Here and there. Just around. I have to pull this forward. Let's get stuck. Hit it too hard earlier. Sometimes I do that. My hands really shaky too. There we go. Just a little bit of color there. Not too much. Need to figure out how to sell paintings, but doing shipping scares me. <laughs> Any tips? Uh, yeah, shipping is super expensive. I got a bulk deal from Uline, where I just bought a ton of boxes. Like, they're just stacked. I have paintings over here, and then I have just a bunch of boxes over here back behind me, so. Um, I forget what size I got. What are these? Oh, no, those are my other ones. They're like 2 inch, 16 by 20 by 2. I just have a huge stack of those back there. That's why I'm using this ship stuff. It works okay. I just use UPS or post office. They'll help you out. Shipping, 12 by 16, size more to ship, so leave room for profit, yeah. Bigger bigger sizes cost more, that's very true. And the, even if it's like, a, what am I trying to say? The width, not the width, the height of the box is what I've noticed made a huge difference because I used to do 16 by 20 by fours and those were like 20 to $40 to ship a painting. And then I went to from that down to 16 by 20 by 2. And those are only 13 to $20. It's ridiculous. I don't know why that empty space costs so much more. But 
that's just how uh, that's just how they make money I guess someday someone will find 1,000 paintings in my attic <laughs> yeah I'll just drop them off at Goodwill and somebody will hopefully pick them up I should have done that because my first batch of paintings I ended up throwing in the trash and I feel bad about it because I'll never be able to find them alright what was I trying to do here I were, I'm all over the place today sorry about that is this the mountain color? I don't know. Brown color? I've seen something darker down here. I don't really want a lot. Just a little bit. Okay. There's something there. And then I'm going to work it up here. And then we'll plant our tree. Our bristlecone pine tree. We'll put them up here somewhere. I think I'll put them right here. Like right there. In that spot. And then it'll go up a little bit. But I gotta wipe away a lot of paint to make room for them because they look really, they're really weird looking trees. I just thought they were really cool. And they're one of the oldest living species on the earth. Bristol cone pines. FedEx is pretty good. Oh, nice. Yeah, I haven't tried FedEx. They, they usually lose all my stuff, so I don't. <laughs> I haven't risked shipping anything with them. I bought every time I get something shipped here. If it's FedEx, I gotta check with my neighbors when it's here because it ends up missing. All right, let's just highlight some of these rocks up front before we go up to the tree. Keep knocking the canvas back. <laughs> all right, Oop, that's a little too much. Not too much, just uneven. All right. Just pulling right to left. And here I'll pull left to right because these knobs get in the way. It makes it kind of hard to highlight these these types of things. And you got these knobs on here. I'll pull it forward just a little bit. And it used to be really hard when I first got this easel because this this lip was as wide as that one, so I could never even get in here and do this stuff like this. Until I modified it. Okay. All right. Let's put it in our tree. It'll be a weird-looking tree. Let's let's remove some stuff here. Oop, that's too much. All right. How tall we want it to be? Let's see. Let's see. Maybe this tall. There's space. space. We've got a weird looking branch that comes up here, maybe into our mountain. Comes down here. Very wide. Wide base. Something like that. And it comes up here on the side. Down here. There we go. Bristle cone pine. There we go. Alright. <laughs> now he's gotta fill them in. Garage sale, yard sale, yeah. My wife said she'll sell them or me. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> All right. Let's throw in some uh, tree colors here. I don't remember what color this was, but I don't think it's a tree color. We need some greens, maybe some brown. All right. I'm just got to get a shape in here first. It's going to be really dark to start. trees look so weird. They're so cool looking. Hopefully I didn't wipe too much of the oil off though. There we go. Just gotta fill in over here. That's enough. Enough of that. Right, it comes up a little bit taller. Here we go. Now we 
got to highlight him so you can actually see him. Otherwise, you won't be able to see this tree at all. It's just a dark blob. I don't really use any of those other colors over here. Oh, I don't want yellow for this. What are you doing, Nathan? You can't use yellow for this tree. These trees are like, uh, what color are they? Tan? They look like sand. I don't know how to make a sand color. What, to, what colors to combine to make a sand color. Let's see. Need some white. Sometimes I've done this with yellow ochre and white. I'm gonna try that a little bit. I can't even see this, so hopefully it doesn't look like to me this color here looks completely white. It looks the same as this. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see what happens. Bristle cone pine. Oh, now it's starting to turn brown. Is that brown color we got there? Could have done this with the palette knife too. Just wasn't thinking. But we could do that with the palette knife here if we want. Some back here. And a little bit. I'm just going to go over this bottom part. Won't be able to see it really. But touch up here. There we go. Weird looking tree. And that's what they look like. Ryan Sloan has video on how to sell art. Cool. Paint more oil but run out of drying room. Yeah. Fluid pour. Yeah, I've seen the fluid pour stuff. Those are cool. Alright, do I want to add anything else to this? I don't think I do. Maybe some grass over here. Let's do that. We got all this color out. All these paints that we didn't use. Maybe we'll just throw some in down here. There we go. That's good enough. We got a weird looking tree over there. Some mountains, some hills. A little bit of snow, even though I never get any snow here. All right, where's the script liner? The next painting's gonna be really easy. So I don't think it'll take that long to paint. Let's see, where's my oil? Over here. When I was looking at stuff in New Hampshire, I didn't realize how much like natural landmarks they have there. There's actually quite a bit, so I thought it was a small state, but I guess it's not that small. They got a lot of stuff. But this is Nevada. This is just mountains in Nevada. Some hills. Nothing, uh... And the bristlecone pine. Don't forget the bristlecone pine. It's important. all the colors on this one but that's not always a bad thing. Can use them in the next one probably. Two, three, there we go. Whoops. Alright, wipe this off. Real quick. Hey, one day paint a divi divi tree or a fo fo tea tree. <laughs> Eagle Beach in Aruba. Okay. 
could do a beach series next where we just paint beaches from around the world that I want to visit. That'd be fun. All right, let's see how this whole thing falls down. I just realized I didn't have any clouds in this one. Oh well. Sometimes we forget. Okay, there we go. This is uh, just mountains in Nevada. And a uh, prickle, or what's it called? Bristlecone pine? 